That's good. We, 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 we teach that we should be over all people. That's right. 100%. That's good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Israelite to Israelite, no? Africans. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Africans, bro. Right. What do you mean, not Africans? Hamites. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, bro. Whatever the policy you, is, man. You saying, brother? You good? Yeah, man, you're all right. Bless you guys. Yeah, yeah. Also kings as well. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've both been, obviously, I see you guys doing your team. Obviously, me, you know, passing your energy, I kind of like feel related. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. I just, I'm from Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. Crazy, you're crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He came because of me, slightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because of your vibe, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, crazy. See that? Yeah. Yeah. And I, it's something I feel related to. Obviously, I want, I want more understanding. You believe in the Bible? Oh, That's good. Yeah, yeah. My brother will teach you, though. You, hey, hey, okay. Jump in. Do you have to keep no, it? No, no, run it, run it, run it, run it. But yeah, right. I feel like the Bible has been, you know, inter interpreted like nah, so many times and so many nah, ways. Do you know what I mean? In a way that you know you don't even trust in what is being preached right now. Do you know what I mean? So you really have to go back. Do you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm kind of like I'm <laughs> in that, that journey. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I want to so understand. <laughs> What's your name? Ovi. Ovi. Lord will need brothers to give you a fresh. Alright, let's get Revelation chapter one verse fourteen. Yeah. Come. Fresh outlook. Yes, I'm right. willing. So, to, I'm open-minded. And I'm willing to, do you know what I mean? Hear you guys, what? do you know what I mean? Yeah, what do you, what do you, what do you think Christ looks like? I think Christ looks like no, each and question, every bro. one of you. Yeah? Yeah. So, each and every one of this point, I think Christ looks like. You know? why, why do you say that? What do you mean by that? See, I feel like Christ is everywhere. Do you know what I mean? But I feel like each and every one's got a spirit. But we all got different souls. You know what I mean? Like something that makes us different from each other. But we're always looking outside of us, aren't we? But if we look inside of us, we will also find what we're looking for, if you get what I mean. Okay, you're saying like the energy that it comes with, basically. Yeah. So I hear you. Most are willing, we do move in that same energy. I'm saying on a physical level and its physical attributes, we're going to see how the Bible, like you said, some people, they're not teaching it properly. They're not trying to tell you what's really in there because a lot of people don't want us to know and be informed because a, a, a black man that's informed is powerful man mm -hmm. Christ was an informed black man we're going to prove that that's Christ. right in Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14 and it reads his head and his hairs were white like wool so you would be familiar with uh, I want it right here because uh, I don't want him to see that I want it, this, I want it like that so, you would be familiar with this image here. Yes, well I've been trained and taught all my life. Right. I never I never really like right, considered yeah, do you know what I mean shit. as that's my savior, do you know what I mean? I never really, you know, put on all my energy as that. I just felt like he gave me life and I'm here to do and I'm here to achieve and no one can stop my purpose but only me if you get All right, that's good. So you basically you don't really deal with this image, you just deal and understand with the con the concept. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, possibly, but again, like I said, brothers, they wake up, innit? Before yeah, I'm yeah, saying, that's what we're trying to do, innit? That's what we're trying to like, do, so... Hey, man, Let's, uh... Step away! Like, I ain't on that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, bro, let me know it's Yeah, we're lactose like intolerant, by the way. <laughs> let's, let's read that. Oh, no, we are still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As white as snow. All right, so read, read that from the beginning okay. again. Okay, verse, Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. This is about Jesus Christ and what he looks like. Right. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Were white like wool. So do you know what wool is, right? Yeah. So what type of texture is that? Sheep. Yeah, exactly, you see? So is his hair woolly like a sheep here? No. Right, so this is not like the image of what Christ would look like. Yeah, yeah. Sure. 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 Strike one, yeah? Right, right. Strike one. Strike one for me? No, no, no but it's for, for him. <laughs> for him. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> let's read on, let's read on. As white as snow. Uh huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Right, his eyes like a flame of fire, or are they like a, a jug of water? Jug of water. Yeah, right. Let's read on. Right. <laughs> soft eyes, isn't it? Right, right. Yeah. Got them Google Google eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to persuade you to do something. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, them it, puppy eyes, man. You know what I'm saying? That feminine eyes. Yeah. yeah. Please, sir, may I have some more eyes? <laughs> yeah. You know? And his feet, and his feet like unto fine brass. So brass was the color of his feet. He was wearing a long garment. John saw his feet and he said they were the color of brass. What's the color of brass with a B? Brass. Do you know? Like black. 
Brown. It's brown. Yeah. It's brown. brown. Right? It's like copper color, basically. Yeah. Brass is a metal alloy, and it's like a copper color. Right, go on. As if they burned in a furnace. So skin color it was brass, as if it had burned in a furnace. Is this color, skin color brown? Is it brass? No. No. It would look more like that white woolly hair and brass skin color so a lot of people they don't teach exactly what's in the bible right. a white pastor is not going to tell you that christ is a black man right and teach you that yep right after he after his people put our people in slavery oh. and actually show you and tell you that slavery is even spoken about in the bible mm -hmm. so have you heard of the israelites before yeah who are the israelites well, what do you know about them well well, I feel like it goes through bloodlines, right? Uh, through Noah's, Noah's heritage, and he left his, you know, he left his land to his generation upon generation. And obviously, if you look at it, you know, people are looking at it, looking at it as in, you know, if we, if we were slaves, yeah, and if we've gone through all this trauma and all this, and if you really question you know what's going on why did this happen to you why is most of the religion like most of your say the teachings about us black people why are they hiding it why they not like in school what i was taught is we were just slaves you know what i mean like you guys saying i'm king you know what i mean i relate and i look at you guys the same way as i look at myself but in general i look at everyone like that i give everyone the same respect if you get what i mean so I get where you're coming from, do you know what I mean? And you, you, it's probably like you would say, you know, the black people are the Israelites. Do you get what I mean? I have a feeling that is true, do you know what I mean? But we're in a certain type of, you know, generation right now, aren't we? We're in a generation that, you know, I know what to do, but it's how I'm going to go on about it, if you get what I mean. So, I, 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 it's, I'm enlightened, but it's for me to put that information out to you is a bit, is a bit sticky because I'm trying to get all my words into my head and just freely speak it out to you, if you get me. So you understand that our people are, would most likely be the Israelites. You yeah. kind of get that gist. So, we're gonna, what we're trying to do is establish that and prove that to you, that we would be the Israelites. Not just, yeah, you can feel it, and that's mighty if you do, but it's actually written, you can prove that in the scriptures as well. Let's get Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. So, Moses, which you're familiar with, Moses, he was uh, uh, the mediator between the Israelites and the Most High God. And he uh, told the Israelites this message. Go on. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the right. voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses told the Israelites, now God requires the commandments uh, to be done. And if they didn't do the commandments, that curses would happen to them. Mm -hmm. Let's get a verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So these curses are going to be upon the Israelites for a sign. Meaning in order to know who the Israelites are, they're going to be the ones who, when they are in sin, they're going through these curses. These curses are going to show you who the Israelites are. Right. And for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So even though this was written thousands of years ago, today in 2024, the Israelites are going to be going through these curses for breaking the commandments. So let's see what some of these curses are. Let's go to verse 33. Actually, we read that before. Let's go to verse 68. You it's spoke about slavery. Go on. 20, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Right, it says the Lord shall bring thee, meaning you, into Egypt again. Speaking about the Israelites, they'll go into Egypt again. So when they went to Egypt the first time, what were they doing there? How were they living there? They were living peacefully. At first they were living peacefully, and then Pharaoh rose up and made them into slaves. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. And Moses then had to free them. Yeah. So the same way that the Israelites were slaves before in Egypt is the same way that the Israelites they're going to be slaves again okay, but right? in a way that it's not it's not a physical slave Judith chapter 5 verse 11 Judith 5 11 
in the Apocrypha right after Tov. Because I like teams going up after, after, after second like, injury, after Tov and the Apocrypha. Kid, like, but, you know, going to yeah, school, Judith, I always Judith, like, they're telling me one thing and I'm thinking to myself, this this does not make sense. Do you know what I mean? Nothing adds up because, you know, it's from my parents, you know, taking me to the oldest churches, you know what I mean? And for me, you know, sitting and listening to them, you know, and then, you know, starting to build up my own consciousness and that understanding, like, you know, something doesn't sit right, but I'm trying to find that direction, do you know what I mean? That leads me, you know, to do the right. But I know me, I know from right and wrong, do you get what I mean? So... So, I mean, you was gone, so I'm not going to reiterate when you just left. <laughs> you should have been here. So just listen in and you'll catch up. Judith 5, 11. Right, it's Judith chapter 5 and verse 11. And it reads, Therefore, the king of Egypt rose up against them. So the king of Egypt, which is another name for the Pharaoh, the Pharaoh rose up against them, meaning the Israelites. He rose up against the Israelites when they were living in peace in Egypt. The Pharaoh said, what, look at all these Israelites just living good. You know, being they're so great, they're so strong. They got mighty beards, right? They, they dress so well. They look, all of the Egyptians, they're looking up to them. They said they rose, he, so the Pharaoh said, nah, man, I can't have these people in my land looking so good, man. I'm going to rise up against them, go on. And dealt subtly, subtly with them. Right, so he has a subtle plan. He had a cunning plan. And he came around with his Egyptian uh, priests and his buddies and thought about how he could come to uh, take down the Israelites that were living in Egypt, go on. And brought them low. And brought them low because they were living high. He brought them low, go on. With laboring in brick. He made them work, go And on. made them slaves. Well, as a slave. So in Egypt, the Israelites, they were living fine. And then another Pharaoh came and said, no, nah, I can't have them living good like that. They, I am going to bring them low because they're in my land. Who do you think they are, man? Mm -hmm. Right? Living all good and that. Mm -hmm. You know, just like That's you might see. You have America out right now, innit? There you go. There you go. So Egypt today is what? What land is like Egypt today? So Where they have the was, Israelites there. America and, and Africa together, innit? And then they found, I don't know, I can't really put it out, but it's, they've separated, innit? So, and, and now it's some, like, like things don't really obviously and you just sometimes really have to look carefully and go back to as in they they've been taken over and we everyone right now is low and with everyone's thinking we are slaves we came from slave this is our this is our upbringing do you know what I, mean? but I know i'm more than that i'm bigger than that that's right exactly exactly they made us slaves where you go why wait for me and if they if they made us slaves what are you doing, bro? If they made us slaves, then obviously there must have been something great before that. Like we was living well in Egypt, but even there, coming from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, these are mighty men. Everyone's heard of Abraham, Moses, King David. Why are they still known to this day? No other people has people that live and living that long ago that are still relevant today. There's no person from the Arab that's a Chinese, that's a Somalian, that's a European that has anyone that lived over 3,000 years ago that they can even talk about. They can't talk about anyone. Only us, we have the, the Israelites. They have the, we have the richest history. We're very great people. So we want to go back into our history. It's actually the same people that the scriptures that the Most High God made us remember. I made the whole world to remember. Because that's because just like today, if you want to think about singers, you're thinking about our people, black people, right? Michael Jackson, right. Beyonce, right. think about our people, man. Yeah. So when it comes to things that are great, our people make the greatest names. Right. And we even do that even after being slaves, even after being at the bottom. Right. So just like Egypt, where we were slaves, it's just like America put us in slavery, right? The people who came to America, they brought us to a land, I mean, not came to America, came to Africa and brought us to America because America is that, is that Egypt today. That's right. So when God is saying you're going to go into Egypt again, he's saying you're going to go into a place of slavery again, just like you were in Egypt before, all right? And let's read it again just to prove that. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, Egypt again. again. Remember, this is a curse for our sins. That because of our sins, God is going to cause the Israelites to go into slavery again, right? Go on. Into Egypt again with ships. With ships. The Israelites 
Israelites were uh, given this curse that if they did not keep the commandments, that they will go into slavery on ships. And which happened? Which happened to who? Us. It happened to our people. So you said you're Delta. They were, they were constantly, you know, pulling it out there that we all, we, we all, um, we all into like kind of like a slave trade, all going to ships. Do you know what I mean? And that's when, you know, everyone's mind just start thinking that's actually how we, we came. But it's not. I, I get, I get you, bro. I get you. It's really hurt for us all to think that. Yeah. But I don't know right now, 2024, should I be having any? Obviously, having a bit of animosity. Two was you know what's going on, but I'm trying to find what to do. Is it preach the world? Obviously, we now know that Jesus is not the right name. Do you know what I mean? So right, his name in the Hebrew will be Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of God. Yahweh Shai is the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yahweh Shai. Right. Yeah. What, what, what would you say that Bible? Where, where does it say that in the Bible? All right, I'll, I can prove that. Let's go to Matthew chapter one verse. 21 in the latin so you wouldn't get you wouldn't get that uh he's going to be a savior from the latin translation you'd have to go to the hebrew translation to get the or the hebrew origin to get the original way that that his name will be said at that time because he wasn't a roman right he wasn't speaking the latin right as his primary language and hebrew is his primary language so in order to understand how he spoke and how his parents would have named him just like your parents would have named you an English, what name? Because they speak their original language. Same with Christ. He has his original name that he... And some people that from Nigeria, they may come and they may translate their name into, into the English way, but he has his original way, so it's called Yahweh Shai. That's how it would be said in the, in the Hebrew. Right? He's not a white man, he doesn't have a white name. They don't call him Josh. Right? You know, Joshi, Joe. Right? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. He was a, it was a, it was an Israelite, so yeah, it's gonna have it. It's gonna have Israelite uh, uh, sounds to it. It's gonna have Hebrew sounds to it, just like you in your language. Your, your your language is gonna sound completely different to the to the English language. It's gonna have different sounds to it. It's gonna have more strength to it. Right, because English is a weak language. So yeah, he came from a strong language and a strong people of the Hebrew. So that's so that's uh that's how he would say and we would say his name in the Hebrew. So yeah, there's been a lot of um you know, being English is not is not who we are, we're not English. We don't come from this land. They they've they've colonized uh Nigeria, you know, and have um, taken control and dominion over those people and would say you're part of the Commonwealth. Meaning your wealth is their wealth. So they're trying to take all your all your riches. Exactly. Exactly. They made us dumb. So what we want to do is get our knowledge and our wisdom from God. We want our knowledge to come from the most high. And so you don't want to just stay in one place. We want to develop on the wisdom of God. So the knowledge of God, let's get um Sirach 1 verse 27. Alright, let's get Sirach chapter 1 verse 27. And let's Come. get Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10. The book of Sirach chapter 1 and verse 27 and it reads, For the fear of the Lord is wisdom and instruction and faith and meekness are his delight. So the fear of the Lord. So we want to have wisdom which comes with instruction. So our wisdom and our knowledge it has to come with instruction. So when we want to know what to do, like it's in itself. We want to know. You don't just want to know. Oh yeah, I just know stuff. No, you want to know what to do. That's the main thing. If you if you don't know what to do, just be clueless. You can't lead anyone if you don't know what to do. Right. You can't be a father. Your sons are. You don't know what to do. Right. You can't go to work. You don't know what to do. Yeah. You have to have the knowledge to actually apply it. You can't tell your, your manager, yeah, I know this stuff, but you don't do it. So you know it to do it. All right? Oh yeah, I, I have a degree. Use it, right? Oh yeah, I have this qualification, but you don't know what to do. And you have to know what to do. That's why they test you after. So to show that, yeah, with the knowledge, you can't just, oh yeah, I read the book, I know it. They test you after to see if you know what to do. And life is that test that with the knowledge that we get from the scriptures and the most high, that we know what to do. Right. Right, so we have situations in our life 
what we're presented with, then the most I see, let, let me see if you know what to do. Let me see if you actually were listening to me. Well, it's the same thing. I've been, I've been feeling like I've been, tra I've been, tra I've been, tra I've been trying to test me. Like, like I know this. Like, no, I don't know it. I'm still willing to learn. I want to know it. But it's just it's too much information from way back. Do you know what I mean? And I'm trying to put it all in my head. And I might just say I'm that type of person. I do try to I learn it. Do you know what I mean? The next day I end up forgetting it. I'm trying to learn how to retain that memory of what I learned so I can use it to try to teach someone. And then when I do try to teach someone, like try to show someone or try to show my mom how to be better, do you know what I mean? In a health wise, do you know what I mean? It, everything just comes slapping me back in the face. Do you know what I mean? And then I, I, I've been getting this reaction like he's trying to tell me to do something. Is it to use AI, artificial, to make it easier for myself or for me to start jumping into spirituality as in me meditating? Me because obviously they're trying to make us dumb with the AI. Do you know what I mean? But all this we are greater than what they, what they created. Do you get what I mean? I already I, I, I have this feeling already like before before I already like before someone could even lie to me bro I already I already get that feeling or that energy. Do you know what I mean? And I get stay away from that person. Or if say if I'm out in the club, they wanna access my energy. They wanna you they wanna you know do you know what I mean they look like they wanna drain you man. But the thing is I'm never drain us like I give them more energy. It's weird bro it's weird the way I say it to you. It's just I'm trying so hard. I'm trying But to imagine if you me. saved that though. Right, I know you got a lot of energy to give but imagine you saved it for the right moments and for the right things man. Imagine you saved it for your people. You saved it for the most high God right. man. Imagine right. how powerful that would be. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Because then you could pour into someone with a full cup. That's right. As opposed to you're pouring into a little half cup there, little this little yep. dash a little yep. splash here. Yep. Imagine you had a full cup man that was over Flowing. All right, let's get um, Proverbs 9, verse 10, and let's get uh, Deuteronomy 10, verse 12. Chapter 9, and verse number 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So, the first wisdom that you want to have is the fear of the Lord. We want to know that this most high God that's created us is powerful, it's more powerful than us. More powerful than anyone, more powerful than Vladimir Putin, man. Uh, more powerful than Rishi Sunak, more powerful than Joe Biden, right. which isn't hard. Right. Let's read on. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So that's what the knowledge we want to have, the knowledge of uh, the Most High and His righteousness, His holiness. That's the knowledge that we want to have. And His knowledge, what He's given us, He's given us is His word. That's His knowledge. Because everything you know you're gonna speak so his knowledge is his word it's a representation of his knowledge so his word is the things that he gives out of his mouth and out of his mouth he commanded the Lord to, uh, to be given unto us right let's get Psalms 147 verse 19 let's read that Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12 and it reads and now Israel what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee but to fear thee fear the Lord thy God so that's what I'm saying that's that's the first requirement fear the Lord right so, so slow down so and you want to teach that's mighty make sure you, you fear the Lord I saw right? that I saw that that's the one Go on. First twelve. Sorry, 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 bro. Yeah, go on. Read. To, but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in His way, to walk in all His ways. Right, he wants us to walk in all His ways. So that's what we want to make sure we're walking in all His ways, doing everything He said to right. the best of our ability. Right. You might slip up, you might fall, you might, you know, you walk in that way, you kind of whoa, you kind of stumble, you kind of get back up. Right, right. Go on. And to love Him. And to love Him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all all thy heart and with all thy soul and that's what we want to start off that we're doing these things let's read what you got this is a book of psalms chapter 147 and verse 19 he showeth his word unto jacob he shows his word unto jacob all right go on his statutes and his judgments unto israel all right jacob is another name for israel the, his word are his statutes and his judgments his commandments that's for us that's his word that's his knowledge that's what he any he knows that we should do and that's the knowledge that we should have that's the instructions that we should have like you know 
every man loves man love like rules and 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 and, and manuals and you know things to follow we like so that organized. yeah that's, yeah man yeah man we use that one yeah 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 exactly. exactly that's a great word to use go on Khan. he have not dealt so with any nation right, he gave this word for us right he didn't he didn't bless everyone else with this word right, right? that's why everyone else they're not they don't they're not keeping it right we need to be the ones that are going to keep it and step up to the plate that the most high god has put upon us for us to be able to eat upon all right um let's go to deuteronomy 14 and verse 8. so his word you have commandments that come from his word that we should be instructed to live upon no that's cool let's take it slow go on let's see the commandments yeah exactly deuteronomy chapter, se chapter 17 14. F sorry 14 verse 8. and verse 8 still like you deuteronomy 14 14 and verse 8 and it reads and the swine because it the sorry one second hold on no, you good man you loud good yeah okay. for real for real so now let me probably get this full full understanding trust me you can hear yeah? you bro. trust me <laughs> you reject the 14 and verse 8 and the swine because it divided the hoof yet true of not the cut it is unclean unto is unclean unto you so it says the swine is unclean to you do you know what swine is Right. right so god said that's his knowledge he gave it said it read that again he gave the knowledge he gave the science to it. right and the swine because it divideth the hoof yet true of not the cud it is unclean to you so a lot the clean animals that we can eat that have that are mammals they they uh have the, a divided hoof they have a parted uh, feet but it says it true if not the cut. I mean, it doesn't have the, the necessary stomachs that divide the food when it's broken down. Bro, so therefore, it's unclean. I right. I lie to you, yeah. These days, bro, I've been feeling not even eat anything meat, bro. I've been feeling feeling like, I say I would eat meat, yeah. I would go to bed. I'm waking up 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock just to puke all that. And, and, and my stomach is just rumbling. Like, it, my body does not want to eat any of that anymore. It's not like I, I don't like it. I don't that was me, bad guy. I love it, but right now I'm feeling irritated. I'd rather eat like lion, I'd rather be unfactuated with eating lion's mane, something that could benefit my brain, benefit. You said lion's mane. You know, lion's mane. You know, like a lion's mane. Lion's mane. You want to eat lion's mane? Nah, it's like it's not lion's meat. It's like a mushroom. Do you know what I mean? And you can you can turn it into like a meat. Do you know what I mean? I'm saying. What I'm trying to say is nowadays, man, eat, um, even if I eat meat or eat fish, do you know what I mean? I'm getting, my, my body's just, it's getting disgusted from it. I'm, I'm waking up every single time, waking up at three, waking up five, five at night, just to you know, release, that, release that food out of my body, bro. Okay, I'm, I mean, yeah. Back then, I used to eat a lot of bare pizza. I would be waking up with shit in my eyes, do you know what I mean? Shit in my, like, I would just be feeling not myself. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I understand that. What we're saying specifically, though, is make sure you're not eating no pork. Pork, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't eat pork. Good. Let's read on. I'm just saying that pork tastes like gloomy. Like what? It tastes like gloomy. Gloomy? Humid. Humid. Humid? Yeah, pork tastes like gloomy. I mean, yeah, don't eat human either. Uh, Definitely not. You shall not eat of their flesh, like, nor touch. Yeah, go on. Nor touch their dead carcass. You don't touch the pork. Don't eat of their flesh. That's knowledge. Right, go on. Right, verse 9. These, these ye shall eat of all that are in the waters all that have fins and scales ye shall eat all right sorry it's hot fins here, and scales. yeah 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 for real <laughs> or is it always like this right there no. right, go on i'll read it again verse 9 these ye shall eat of all that are in the waters all that have fins and scales shall ye eat so again yeah so that's knowledge so the things that we can eat that come from the water like you said you're not you might not really be feeling fish anyway not crabs but is it not like crabs does that have fins and scales no, no. so we can't you can't eat that then yeah Sorry. it has to have fins and scales if you want to eat uh, a type of thing that comes from the water it will be classified as a fish having fins and scales so anything that's not having fins and scales and is not a fish you can't eat that all right so that will be what you like you said crab lobster 
prawns, carni. That's good. Right, so no oysters, no sea snails, no eels, no shark, no catfish. I think it, I heard a saying that made them as delicacy now, so everyone's just buying them, thinking it was what's making them sick. Right. You know what I mean? Exactly. Bro, because they're bottom feeding animals. Everyone's thinking I'm going crazy, but I'm more healthier than most of them, bro. You know what I mean? My whole family, I, I keep telling them, my, like my mom sold myself. I so told her to go get a gastric surgery because she, if she didn't do that, I helped her keep on deteriorating. At first, I was telling her like oh, she needs to stop eating all the like you know all this meat because like, I could see the way it's making my body feel. Do you know what I mean? Because I was trying to like I was trying to see how the best way for me to gain muscle, and the best way for me to lose muscle. So I was testing all that, I questioned everything, bro. Everything I always questioned. So I was trying to make my mom understand that since she started taking all this medicine, she's always been in bed. She's always been sick. She's always she's not nothing is going good for her. Do you know what I mean? I so had to tell her to go get a gastric surgery, but I told her she didn't need to do any of that. All she had to do was start, you know, with juices, you know, taking foods, eating. She's like, no, how can I eat all this? How can I eat all of this? Yeah. I need meat. That's what she was telling me. And I was, in my mind, I'm thinking, all right, you do what you want to do. So her soul told her, go get a gastric surgery. And now she's got that gastric surgery. And what she doing? She's eating all the vegetables. She's lost so much weight, bro. She's lost so much weight. And I keep telling mom, you look amazing. Do you know what I mean? But I, I don't know. I don't want to put too much, too much into her about what's going on with the technology and ai and uh, how we, we should move forward in spirituality right now i feel like i need to know that 10 commandments i need to know exactly all the 10 commandments because i know one of the 10 commandments that people don't use the lord's name in vain but the lord wants to be praised he wants his name to be heard do you get what i mean so i get it's a, it's a very mighty point I, I will try and teach you as much as i can man um i'm going to re-emphasize uh, something you mentioned about the juices and stuff like that there's wisdom in the scriptures according to that and um that would agree with what what, what you just said let's read that one for sure this is Sirach chapter 38 and verse 4 the lord have created medicines out of the earth there's actually medicines in the earth god created those mm -hmm. go on and he that is wise will right. not abhor what? them and he that is wise will not abhor them all right so if you're wise you're not going to abhor meaning you're not going to hate the things that god has created upon the earth the medicines I love, that are I in love the what God created me. I love it. It makes, so, me, it makes me smile. It makes me joyful. And it makes me understand and know that there's now technology that making some some different type of GMO foods and you can tell because most of them don't even have seeds in them. So my you point. can tell bro, you now have AI that can scan whatever you buy in the groceries. I'm there telling them you gotta be careful because this is what's making causing your sickness, this is what's deteriorating your health. Right. Do you know what I mean? I'm always showing them proof for their ignorance like that I'm just thinking why? Like I'm showing you the proof. You're calling me crazy and all this, but I'm showing you the proof there. There's now AI to assist you. But then again, I'm, I, I'm, I don't want to be in love with that shit, bro. I don't want to love with AI. I want to use it outside of me, you know, to benefit me. But I know there's more to what I can do with this brain. Yeah, man. That's right. The more you apply yourself, the closer you get to the most high, man. Right. And righteousness, though. So, as, as you're saying, these juices, they have, like, the vitamins, minerals. These are medicines, right? They have medical purposes. You know, the, the, the especially tropical fruits. You've got more nutrients in it. And because it's got more nutrients in it and it's all filtered, you know, through the, through the minerals, it can then replenish the minerals that are meant to be in your body that you're lacking as to why sicknesses have um, uh, come in the first place right so it's meant to be having a healthy diet yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not meant to be overeating overindulging you know wheezing in your sleep you know you're not meant to have diabetes these things come from you know unrighteous gluttony and um eating the wrong types of foods mm -hmm. when it's, it, they put it in a way you're celebrating celebrating it throughout the whole year you're celebrating you know i mean christmas and stuff and in every single one of them disgusting celebrations yeah everyone is eating so much you know eating so much Walking. like i was that was yeah. me bro yeah, yeah, and then yeah. i start knowing these people are not this is not here for me this is to bring me down do you know what i mean but then i, I started noticing when i stopped doing it i started to remember stuff bro in a slow way in a slow way and i know i can push it harder bro. Right. Yeah, man, just keep going. Keep going. Keep going and I sound a bit weird, bro. Ah, oh, man, you exactly. Uh, I'm so onto some weird shit, bro. I'm onto some weird shit, and I, I know I can get there. I know I can get there, but I need, yeah, to, I need to first focus.
chosen, praising the Lord, making money, making sure my environment is clean, and then I can start working. First, I help myself, then I can help others, because my goal is to help the, uh, uh, help both spirituality and help this physical world to protect my family, bro, the people I love, bro. Yeah, man, take, take that leave. My girl, she just got irritated and just walked away. It's like probably not for her. Um, I mean, you got yeah, you got to think about that. I've thought about that, but she she likes me for who I am, but she's not understanding. I'm not picking. It's not about. I love everyone. I love. Do you know what I mean? But it's not like it's not like everyone I love is just there's good and evil, and the evil is what I don't want near me. Do you know what I mean? I want peace, quiet. Do you know what I mean? I want to be a ghost. I don't want to be known helping people, bro. I would just want to do everything quiet in a way that yeah, I know Matthew, like every single day I'm helping now. someone. Every single way I'm, but I know for a fact I'm struggling right now because I need to make that goal, get that money, but I know I need to put for God first at the beginning. That's right. That's right. See, when you're putting God first and you're following that, whatever you need, let's get Matthew 6 verse 33, whatever you need in your life is going to come with it. You just follow them all time, man. Let's read that. This is uh, Matthew 19 and verse 29. It says, And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. So if you forsake the things of the world that might be holding you back, the Most High is going to give you a hundredfold, meaning a hundred times that. A hundred times greater than that. So if you forsake, you know, whatever it is you put, nah, this is holding me back. Let's get Matthew 5, and I want verse 29. Cut off your right hand. Go on. Go on. Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. And it reads, But seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Don't seek after people. That's where people go wrong. You know, you see people kind of moving astray and you're trying to save them and help them. But you're not walking in all of his ways first. Right, you right. Can't, you can't, you have nothing to help them to come to. Go to that first. Right. And then, you know, then come through. Remember Noah had to build the ark. And then... I've decided to change myself first and they can either learn from me. You know what I mean? I don't want to... It's not like I'm trying to be like a... I know better than them. You just... I'm just telling them what's out there that they're not seeing. If you get me. You don't need to necessarily even tell people that you're doing better than them. You can just show them the better way to do. Right. And then naturally, they'll see it. Be an example. Right? That's right. And then you can speak on what you're doing rather than telling other people what you should do. Like right. everything you're saying, like we we keep that dietary law. Right? I don't eat pork. I don't eat prawns. I don't eat these things. I used to eat these things, but I don't eat them anymore. I don't have to eat them because there's so many foods that God made that are clean in the first place. God made us anyway. He knows what we can eat and we can't eat. I have an issue not eating any of these foods that God said don't eat. Right. They don't. They don't. That's not a struggle to me. All right. Let's right. read that again. Right. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. All right, so what you need to eat, what you need to be dressed with, what, where you're going to live, uh, your family, it's all going to be added unto you when you're keeping the commandments, when you're following him. Because then everything that you get is from him. If you're not following him, everything you get, it's not, it's from, it's from God, but Satan is, is using his hand to provide that for, right. uh, for you. Right. So you have to forsake those things that Satan provided for you in order to follow God. Uh-huh. Because a lot of things, if you weren't following God, a lot of things that we had in our life, you know, it may be friends, it may be uh, uh, things, assets that we may have, it may be from following Satan. We need to forsake those things in order to follow God. You may have uh, 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 weed, you have to forsake that to follow God. Yeah. You may have an unrighteous uh, women around you, unrighteous friends around you. You need to forsake that in order to follow God. But then he said that he's going to give you a hundredfold. Right? I had friends in the world right, that were 
were leading me astray because I was following them. How can something or anyone lead me astray if you're not following them? In order to go the right way, you have to follow God. And in following God, you, those people are put away now are brothers that are righteous that are doing the things that have a hundredfold now, right? There are unrighteous women in the world that you may have. If you forsake that, then you can get a righteous wife, a hundredfold what you had before. You can have a hundred unrighteous women and think, yeah, you're the guy, I've got a hundred unrighteous women. You know, they're all, they're all bad and all this and that. Right. All you need is one righteous wife, right. bro. Right. 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 And the Most High gave that to you, Most High right. willing. Then you know that's of the Most High. That's on. right. And Matthew 6 and verse 24. No man can serve two masters. For either he will he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Right, so you gotta take key to the things you're holding on to. Because when you're holding on to something, it means they despise the opposite of that. You can't hold on to the you know things that are contrary. Right? So if you love God, then you're gonna hold on to God. Right. Which means you're despising Satan. Right. If you love Satan and you love the ways of this world and the things that are unrighteous, guess how you feel about God? You may not be saying it, but subconsciously, through your actions, you're showing it. Yeah. Uh, you got that? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 49. And if thy right eye offend thee. If your right eye offend thee, meaning a part of your body, it's not literally, right? Because your right eye, your eye is used for, you know, you being able to see, go places, do things, right? Go on. If thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out. Pluck it out, right? Take it away from you, right? It doesn't mean, you know, if you have a bad eye, pluck it out. It's literally saying. Something's leading you astray. Exactly, because right. your eyes lead you to places. Right. Then take it away from you, go on. And cast it from thee. Cast it from you, man. Dash it away, man. Right? I don't know what the, the, the in your language what the language what, what the word for dash it away is. I want right? to you, bro. Well, I was brought up early here, so I didn't really pick up any of the language. I would be like a robo or ebo. But the only language that stuck to me is English, but I'm not even good at that bullshit, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's fine, man. But you know what? Dash it away. My, 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 my dad's they speak it, bro. I've lived a hard life. You know what I mean? A proper hard life, but I've never turned a straight to like. I know my right from wrong always. I always like. I get this sense of when something's wrong. It's not like I'm scared. Like they want me to do bad. Do you know what I mean? So it can just get me, but it never happens. Oh, something's either protecting me, or if I had it, like say I'm not the one driving. I might buy the cars. I'm not the one driving. And someone's had a had the accident and. Something's bad to happen. I'm always, I always feel like something is protecting me. I've had so many incidents like that, and it's just shown me in a way that someone's looking after me properly. Like, bro, well, that's good, man. That's my. Crazy. That's I'm why crazy. you don't don't worry about. Don't, that's why. You know, that's what Matthew six is speaking about. Not having worries because. Yeah. When you worry, you forget yeah. that everyone's even controlling you and, and, and governing over uh, the Most High is governing over you in the first place. Right. Right. Don't forget that the Most High is governing you, man. Come on, I got that. I'm read that. Yeah, go on. Come on. I'm sick. Verse, I'm Matthew chapter six and verse thirty-four. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the for morrow. Come on. Put put them. Come on. All right. Go on. The, but therefore take. Take no thought for, for for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. So don't worry about tomorrow, because tomorrow is going to pattern itself basically. Yeah. Right? Don't be like, oh, tomorrow. Right. Yeah. That, used to, bro, that used to be me. Like, always like thinking, I need to do this now because I'm seeing like my mom and my dad are not together, so I'm thinking, I'm the, I'm the eldest son. I need to get that, you know, I need to get that bread. I need to, you know, but it never just, it never works out. But this, like, throughout this year, I've been more calm. I felt like I needed to make my heart like a feather. I had to apologize to my dad. I'm like, yo, dad, I know you've not always been there, but I've always always had something against you and I just had to let it go but the funny thing is he's always been there but it's just something I had to just say to him to just know like before anything happened I don't like think I'm gonna leave this world it's just I need to be positive between my heart but something is holding me I need to be I need to be free inside me if I don't know just I find it hard to just to speak out oh, that's righteous I will work on this I will 
Mm. Oh, that's right. That's, like, mm, mate. that's a good example, man. That's what yeah. we should be doing. Right. So don't worry about those things. So I'm not saying don't make moves. Let's say, oh yeah, tomorrow I'm going, I've got to pay the, got to pay the bill tomorrow. Ah, it's going to deal with itself anyway. No, <laughs> no, 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 I'll pay that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but don't worry about it. Universe can see it. You gotta push something out there so you can come back. Right, know what's in your control and what's not in your control. Right. What's in your control, make moves, man. Be a man. But what's not in your control, why are you worrying about it? Alright, um, it's a uh, uh, first 30, I think, or what? Come on. Uh, I didn't finish 29. Oh, yeah, go on. First, I'm gonna start 29 again, Matthew 5 and 29. And if thou write out of Fendi, pluck it out and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. Right, so something that you could call yours. Um, you that belongs to you, let that perish, not you. Because if it, if it say it's yours and it belongs to you and it's mine, then the most high will just throw the whole thing away. That's that thing away, that's yummy. Because when you do pass away, you take nothing wrong, you have nothing but your, your soul. No, I get exactly. you. I'm not, I'm not even, I'm, I, I just, I just, I felt like, ever, like when I was young, I felt like I grew up well because I wasn't into any of this mer mer like mer material stuff, like cars, do you know what I mean? Like if, if I wanted to get, like I would go and do the driving license, I would, you know, push on to go do it, but I just like, I'm saying, thinking to myself, I get the car now, that's 50 that's 50 to 90 percent chance of me having an accident and me you know you know destroying myself being in this world that's how i've always looked at stuff do you know what i mean but it never stops me like i'm just like my head i'm thinking okay i might have to get this car now because you know i need to help my mom do you know what i mean maybe some people are depending on me to you know to drive or it's it's you know the push of them wanting me to do all that but i know that's not my rule i'm trying to you know find something inside me to create so i can put out there to create so it's not like I'm creating something that is going to be five minutes and, and, and uh, I have to create something new. I want it to benefit people. So I'm, I'm still searching inside, like, what I, can I do to put out there? I don't want to be doing something that other people create for me or a job. I'm still searching inside. I want to do something to put out there. So that's why I, I went back, you know, you know, to the, give the uh, start off with giving my life to God. Do you know what I mean? Uh, 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 Try seek for money because in, in the world we live, we need money so we can be able to do things. And then um, it's like Exodus 28. And, and then uh, um, and then try, try try to be clean. Do you know what I mean? Just everywhere around me, try to be clean. That's exactly so. So we just say I'm I'm going I'm I'm going in the right a little bit at right full step or I need to go back to square one. I mean, there's there's some things you're making the right you you are making the right step. I don't know exactly everything you do, but you know you are being right here. You're making the right steps because you know not to glorify ourselves. I'm just saying because you want to listen to what the word is saying. So from you're trying to go according to what God is saying, you're on the right way. Don't don't try and go back to square one when you're trying to listen to what God is saying. So take those things that are that you need to remember and know. From, uh, yeah, ex exactly. I'm gonna show you another one. You mentioned the Ten Commandments, right? And you want to keep those Ten Commandments. I'm gonna show you one of those ten. Do you have any? Do you have any like a, a note like this? A note like this with the Ten Commandments that I can take with me. That's a that's a good question. No, we don't. But, um, Do you have like an email? email we have an like Instagram, Instagram. I, I know, and an email on there as well. Check. This is the YouTube channel. Okay. The YouTube channel. The one without the email. Oh yeah. 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 And on the Instagram, you'll find our email as well. Yeah. But you can DM the Instagram account, and we get to you. And uh, you want an email? You can email. I know uh, whatever. You, what, what? You got Instagram? Yeah. Hey, you good, man? I yeah, you good. I got. Um, I got Gmail. You good, man? 100. I will DM you guys. This is something I'm really into. I love, I love the word of God, and uh, I appreciate you guys for spending the time to speaking with me. And, uh, and, um, just, listen, just listening to it. Thank you, guys. Right. Let me get this uh, last one, right? Exodus this is book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. And we also we appreciate your time as well, man. Definitely. Yeah. It says, "Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy." The right. Sabbath day would that be Saturday? Yes. Okay. So Friday evening to Saturday evening. So right now. Friday evening to Saturday. Friday so right. I should meditate. Okay. 
So right now the Sabbath day is finished. Okay. Right, because it's evening now. The sun's gone down, the day's done. Right, everybody wants to party and freak off and do whatever their, their lusts conceive in themselves. But right now, um, it will be in the first day of the week. The Sabbath day is was, was, uh, finished in the evening. So Friday evening is Saturday evening, that's the Sabbath day. Like you said, it's the day you want to meditate. It's also a day of coming together. It's a day of uh, seizing from your labors at work. So you're not working on that day. All right, it's a holy day. So you don't want to work on that day. You want to be meditating on the scriptures that you said, and you want to try and gather with uh, brothers as well. All right, so me, young, and a couple of brothers up here from London. All right, ish. Are you in London? London. Ish, right? Look, we're down there. Now. Yeah, we're down there, yeah. yeah. But a uh, couple of brothers there from Manchester, so. Yeah. Are, you, are you from here though? Uh, I live in Manchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, you have brothers that you can uh, congregate with and, and be with, uh, whether it be your own. Whether it be online, whether it be in person, they can come out with and, and, and uh, can, can help you and edify you and guide you more as time goes on. We're not here to give you something and just dash you away. Right. Who's next? Who's next? No, no, no. We're here to actually try and help you as much as possible and bring you as closer to the most high God as possible. That's right. Right? And if that be uh, through, if you were able to help us, uh, we're, we need laborers. Man. Right. So if you right. want to labor for the most high God, and like you said, you want to preach and teach, and we're all for that to, to help you be able to do that. Right. Like I said, you want to be walking in his ways and have the knowledge. So Bro, would, we want to give I, you I as much knowledge as possible. As well because it, it gets me closer to have brothers around me. That's, that's, right, that's what right. we're here for. That's what we want to have brothers around us. That's, right. that's why we're not here by ourselves. That's right, bro. I'll well be here by myself saying, no, nah, man, I don't need you, man, here, man. Right. I'm saying, you, man, you don't even need me. You do your thing over there, man. I do my thing over here, man. No, nah, man, we need each other, man. Mm. All right? So let's get um, Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9. Yeah. Oh, no, you can hold you can hold that. Get him to send them here. No spreading diseases over there, man. Um, Sne sneezing on you, bro. So you getting that? What do you want, sorry? Uh, 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 no, he's got he's got he's got. What he's got. Got. four verse nine. Come on, I've got you. Come on, Ecclesiastes chapter four and verse nine, and it reads. Well, it's this page, come on. 4 and verse 9, and it reads, Two are better than one. What did it say? Two are better than one. Right, two is better than one. And and two is good. Let's get Amos 3 verse 3. It's not just any two. Right. Right, because you can have two. When it says two is better than one, it's talking about two of the same. Right. That's right. It's not saying two is two is better than one, you know, right. one good. the same direction. Exactly. Not the same mindset, but it's going through the same direction. Exactly. So two good is better than one good. Right. Just like, it's not saying one good and one evil is better than, no, no, no. Two is, is, is a duplicate of the one. Mm -hmm. Just like read that. You could be a good player or you could be a te uh, uh, into technology. Right, yeah, but all the all trying to build the same building. Right, right, right. Just like if you have certain companies, for example, uh, like British Gas, they deal with engineering and they'll deal with plumbing as well. Mm -hmm. They're all working for the same thing. That's why two is better than one. Yeah. They're all working and building the same thing. That's what makes them uh, greater. Let's read it. It's the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 3. Can two walk together? Right, can two walk together? Except they be agreed. Except they be agreed. Two can't walk together except they be agreed. Right, we can't walk in agreement with God. Uh, we, we can't be uh, walking with God unless we're in agreement with Him. Right. right. He'll walk somewhere else, we're walking this way. Right. We're not agreeing. We're not right. going in the same direction. All right. The direction and the way is, is Christ. Precept. He's the way. Come. He's the direction that we're meant to be following. That's how we get in agreement with God. That's we follow the way, which is Christ. That's right. Go on. Uh, Zeph Second Corinthians 6 and 14. Zephaniah chapter 2 and 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. All right. The most I said to gather together. He didn't say you just, you know, he said, O nation. We need to gather as a nation of people. Do you see, do you see any other nations up here? 
oh, we are one nation up here, right? right? Because the Most High wants us as a nation to gather together because that's what we don't do. That's right. Unless there's a, you know, a, a, a Z here of weed, you know, a lot of our people aren't gathering together. Unless there's a Z, some girls right. in crop tops and, 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 and uh, tracksuit bottoms. Right. People ain't gathering together, you know, unless there's some loud uh, music, you know, with, with the higher bass line. People ain't gathering together, man. Right. Yeah, that's a cooning up. Yep. But we're not doing any of those things, but we're still gathering together. This is the gathering of the Lord that we must have in righteousness, trying to do better for our people. Right. And, 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 and Lord willing, you can uh, continue that to do the same for others as well. That's what we need to do. We want to change what? You know, Manchester all dirty and filthy and our people are in sin, man. Right. right. You want to be the, the, the shining light in this place, man. That diamond and dirt, as they say. We got that 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. This is 2 Corinthians 6 and verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked don't, together. Don't be unequally yoked together. Yoke, you know what a yoke is? I know yoke from an egg. No, uh, that's, that's yoke. Y O double L. Joined, joined, joined together. Don't. Let, let me show you. As in, like being poked. As in, huh? Is it being poked? No, it's not. <laughs> So a yoke is what animals use. All join together. So a yoke is what joins these uh, oxen together. And they use that in order to keep them on, uh, on one accord so that they can plow and work together in the field. So you may have seen that, or actually you didn't grow up in Africa like you said, but... I did, I grew up like... Yeah, you grew up. I was like seven. And then I oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I was like... So you may... Went to huh? the school, but the same stuff yeah. they're teaching about, the, in, about, you know, the that's Christian that. Jesus, that's what yeah. they're teaching about. Double side right, is right, the right, best right. way to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you, bro. I hear you. I mean, it's a bit fiddly, but... I own the thing. That's right. That's right. But yeah, we're not allowed to have our own thing. That's right. You see, Chinatown has its own thing. That's right. We need our own thing. on this time ago. I'm just, I, I already know, I'm just trying to find a way to break out this, you know, this mental... This unrighteous, yo. Exactly. Right? And that's what the brother said, that's what the brother eloquently showed you, that this is just what we think is the closest we can... It's not an actual picture, it's not him, but this is the closest to the description of our God, because he looks like us. You understand? He don't look like no other God, right. like you said. Go ahead. So don't be unequally yoked. So see, this is an equal yoke, because there are two of the same but if you have one ox and one donkey you can't put them together because one's going to be pulling the other and the other's feet is just going to be scraping yeah, the floor yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right the donkey's just going to be the donkey's already lazy as well so the donkey's just going to be there like right but the ox is doing all of the work and what's on that is going to then put a burden on the ox because it's carrying this other one's weight and now it's going to be tired now it's going to faint and it might die in the field because it's carrying this donkey all day Whereas these oxen, they're powerful together because they're both stride for stride working together. So they've got like horsepower and that's where you get like uh, your, uh, horses, they will carry the chariots and that's where you get the terminology where cars today have horsepower. Because horses, you, yeah, you could have one horse that will pull a chariot or a wagon, but if you had multiple horses carrying the same uh, chariot or wagon, you have two horses, three horses, now they're both powering on. Now it, now you're going uh, fast on, into the right. wars, right? So I have one horse, you've got one horsepower. You've got two horse, you've got two horsepower. So when you have these animals and they're all working together, you have more power. Right. As opposed to one is, is pulling the other. Let's read it again. It's a book of 2 Corinthians 6 and verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. With right. unbelievers. So that donkey I was talking about, that you just be pulling along, that's an unbeliever. I would say, I would say, what knows in 2024 until 2023 people don't even want to believe this Jesus anymore they don't want to just they don't want to believe it at all they rather just believe in themselves right. they've not understand you know they've not understand that he's, there's no one to save save us but ourselves you get what I mean they've not they've not understand that like the, the media you know what they're putting out there it, it, it does not make sense you know with, with like if they're pushing if they're pushing you know like Lil Nas out there you know to be the number one and then they're preaching about how good Jesus is like everyone even they put the white 
they have everyone is clocking onto this bullshit, bro. Do you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm obviously yes, I hear what you're saying, but I'm, I'm thinking I, I, I won't expect it if you the good and righteousness yeah, are starting to understand and wake up and we all come because as you said, we are all group. If we all start chanting the word of God, he will be heard. We're manifesting him to this existence, if you get what I mean. But but those in the olden days we were there, well, how can I say manifesting G um, uh, giving our powers to who? To Jesus. You know, in the churches, in the schools, you know, we've been we've been taught to just preach Jesus. Do you get me? So what we what we've been trying to manifest, we've been trying to manifest, you know, that that that, that entity to this unit to this, you know, to this um, dimension. So we want to make sure we're doing that in the right way. So really, you can, you can uh, bring the spirit uh, into our lives by doing the right things. Because spirit is a blessing, man. To have the spirit is a blessing, you know, because it's going to cleanse you. It's going to like uh, guide you and lead you. But you have to be in agreement with the Most High, man. Yeah. Right. In order to be uh, guided, you have to want to be guided. You have that's to right, want to be led. Right, that's Otherwise, right. the Most High is going to give you something that's precious to him. going to come inside you when you're unholy. Yeah. I yeah, you, once you start living the right way, you know, doing the right things, having the right mindset, then you can empower that source. I, I hear you. Let's finish that. Come. It says, for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? With unrighteousness? Right. And what communion have light with darkness? So that's talking about the people that we're with. People that we're with can also be a hindrance. So likewise, you know, you trying to go according to righteousness, that's you being the light. So you don't want to be yoked with uh, darkness. You don't want to be yoked with unbelievers or un uh, unrighteous. So, you know, just to be straight to the point, you may have like that. Is, was that you? Is that your? Was that your woman? Yeah, that's my girl. You want to be around. You want to have a, a woman that's righteous. Trust me, she's a good girl. A very, very good girl. You probably just looking at her. She's right. She's from Morocco. Do you know what I mean? She's half Portuguese. She can yeah, cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is her dad Portuguese? Uh, her dad is from Morocco. Her mom's Portuguese. You know, she's, she's, she's good girl. Right now, man's broke. She's got her own, she's got her own yard. She's got her own mortgage. You know, she's on it, man. She's on it. <laughs> trying not to laugh at that. Just, uh, obviously, she knows I'm right. Do you know what I mean? She doesn't want me to be right. But deep down, she knows I'm right. She was losing here. She's like, Obi, oh, you have so much hair. Teach me your way. Like, how you get into I told her, girl. You just have to eat. You, you gotta take cayenne pepper, turmeric, salt every single morning. She started doing it. She started seeing the changes in, the, in her hair because what our hair is out is is connected to our nerves. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I'm, like the, it's hard for me to put it out there, but I I can tell it's good from like it's good. Let's get that as well. Let's get that as well. Let's get that as well. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like obviously you could smell that whiff there still. You know, I've not smoked for like nine. four months. Do you know what I mean? Like she, I let her do it in. Do you know what I mean? When she feels like she wants to give up, let her give up. I'm not trying to push anyone. Do you know what I mean? I've learned to You don't smoke, do you? No, 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 Okay, I'm gonna smoke. I'm gonna, you know, not with tobacco. Do you know what I mean? Right now it's lace, but back then they used to use weed, you know, for some medical, you know, you know. Yeah, but they weren't smoking it for medicine. Yeah, they weren't, they weren't smoke, smoking it, but they were using weed. Our own body, we can produce that the same THC through meditating. Do you know what I mean? You see that? You see what we're smoking there? That, that weed there? We can produce it. And I've also got the same reaction. You know, when you meditate, you know, and you're working with your breath, you can get high on your own supply, bro. Do you know what I mean? I try to tell <laughs> I try telling her like, like, you know, obviously when she's like, she wake up in the morning, born as you, you know what I mean? I'm telling her like, she don't really need to do that. It's like when she's stressed or when she's feeling a bit of, you know, like some type of way in her body, she could just go ahead, go on your Z if it's getting you to feel calm, do you know what I mean? Or know what you're taking. But when you're 
excessively doing it, it's doing an ounce, you're blocking, because you're already producing that, you're blocking it, do you know what I mean? It's coming through your pores, coming through your face, do you know what I mean? And uh, it's up to her if she wants to change, you know. But I can see, I see changes from her, bro. It's just obviously, it hits her nerves, like what she's been taught most of it wrong, bro, because we're all starting to learn that like, they're not here for us, but unless we start picking up all this wisdom ourselves, it's all a bit four and so let's get that. Which one do you want? Because I've got nine and Whatever one, you want. nine and twelve. Whatever you want. Uh, I'm going go over there. Nine and twelve. Let's see. It says Ezra. Ezra 9 and verse 12. Yeah, totally. Now therefore, Ezra. give not your daughters unto their sons, neither take their daughters unto your sons. Right, so this, for your parents, right, would really, if they were raised according to the scriptures, they would ensure that you were not given unto a daughter that's of another nation. Let's on. Okay. It says, no seek their peace or their wealth forever. It said, don't seek their what? Their peace or their wealth forever. I right, you want to say, oh yeah, but she's rich though. She's got a nice house. Yeah, she's got a nice peace. Yeah. Don't seek their peace and their wealth. Why? Because they're going to use that against you afterwards. True. True. All right. The they're going to tell you, oh, but I did this for you, I did that for you. Situation, you know what I mean? She's not, she's not trying to be like... Uh, yeah, now, because you know I mean? he's, he's saying if you ain't got nothing, <laughs> but wait till you got something. She, uh, she sees me because she knows, as she said, I'm a king. She knows that she sees me as, you know, that's that's my king. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know when you have a couple of things. Why did she leave? That is just the words. It torments her mind, bro. It, it torments her mind because they don't want to listen to that. They want to have a peaceful, good life. So she's a king, but she, 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 she obedient to you? She's a queen. Yeah, yeah. Trust me. She's too. obedient to you. Like I'm not forcing her to stay. If she wants to go, she'll go. Me are back in the hotel and that. How long have you been with her? Me and her we say a year now. A year. You know, so she she knows you know my criteria and I understand her criteria. I don't try to push her to know. She's learning from me. And before she used to be a bit chubby. You know what I mean? Now you can see her mom's like you're losing weight all the time since you met Obi. <laughs> you know what I mean? Used to be a bit no. So with the earth, you put in a diet and that. That's it. So with the earth. Well, of course you think you're a king. Of course. Right, king. Of course. Exactly. You can get huh. any better than that. Right. Yeah, but imagine you're, you're a king, you know, as an Israelite, you're a king. So imagine you had an Israelite woman. Then you can actually say, yeah, this is royalty I'm with. That's right. I'm trying to say she's a queen for what? What did she do? Right. That's See that? It's really nice. Because of uh, the way she acts, her personality, do you know what I mean? The way she is and kind to me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I can go meet an Israelite woman, she might not treat me the same. Do you know what I mean? I'm not seeing her for the, her beauty. I'm seeing her because of her soul. I'm seeing her because of her spirit. I'm seeing her because of her mindset. And I'm seeing her. But she, is, she, she doesn't listen. Though, to the word. Yeah, she can listen to the word, do you know what I mean? She can listen to it, but it triggers, it triggers like, so it's it not triggers a, everyone, like not everyone, like me and you, because we understand, but it triggers a certain type of pressure, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it is a like, like me, me speaking and me not able to speak properly, do you know what I mean? It triggers you like, maybe this guy don't know nothing, do you know what I mean? Uh, I don't no, think no, 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 you guys. Moses could have, Moses had that. You see sometimes the way I'm, I'm trying to like, get all the words in one, you know, in one sentence, I can just put it out there. Yeah. I'm working so hard on it, do you know what I mean? But, but we, don't, we, don't think, we don't think that at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been seeing, we've been seeing a lot of deep stuff. Yeah, man, I respect your knowledge, that. though. Come on, yeah, 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 for real. Yeah, for man. Real. But the, the righteous woman, she will stand there with you. Right, Listen, right. By your we, side, man. We've had brothers who, they've been with their girlfriend, and they were, they were both Israelites, and they both stood there. The woman didn't walk away. She stood there and heard it, just like they departed. So, right. Uh, you had a point? Yeah. Um, Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all that, yeah. What we got to do when we're coming into this, into this Bible, we need to take, we need to take instruction, like we said before. You like to be organized. You said organized as a man and know how to lead and how to pull people in the right direction. In that, in order to do that, we have to know how to take to not lean onto our own understanding. We don't lean onto our own understanding because man is not always right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I've made him. Yeah. Right. There you go. I've made many mistakes, bro. I've made many mistakes in in life, but when I found 
found this Bible and the true instruction of what the Lord wants me to do, that's where that's when I, my life started going straight. That's right. Mm -hmm. right point. That was it. Kind of, um, yeah, go on. Uh, okay. This is the book of Ezra, Toby. chapter ten and verse ten. It says, "And Ezra the priest stood, the priest stood up and said unto them, Ye have transgressed and have taken strange wives to increase the trespass of Israel." So, you don't want to take a strange wife. It's not. It's not good. No. Even your parents tell you what. Don't talk to what. Strangers. Right. The real strangers are these uh, nations that God doesn't want us to be with. Right. We want to be of our own people. Yeah. And the best way to love your own people is to be of your own. Right. Because getting married to someone or having someone as your girl, whatever you want to call it, is 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 not just about pleasuring yourself. There's more to it than that. 100%. It's it's about ple pleasing the Most High God. Because you're actually taking a responsibility. You're being an example. So the best people to do that for is your own. You know, being in, I know you, you've been, you've been here, but you know, there's a lot of other nations around here, man. So it might be, you know, difficult. You got a lot of other nations around here. You know, it might be difficult to find your own. But there's enough of our own. It be, there's enough of our own people here, man. It might be difficult, but guess what? There's nothing wrong with being by yourself. Right, right. It's better. I mean, in the scripture it says it's better to, to be by yourself on a, on a house top. You brought like you got in an argument. You broke up just yesterday. I can't find. It. I think it's in Sarah. It's better to be on a house top. You know, we had like a, a talk. Surprise me, you know, getting the whole stuff, you know, getting some gifts from my mom, you know, buying some clothes from my sister. Obviously, things are material stuff. But you you know, love looking after your family, though, isn't it? Yeah, she, she it did puts a spirit on you. Is her just showing that, you know, that, 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 obviously, we had this argument. I'm thinking, I took it too far because me, once I get in that, like, that little anger moment, because when I get in that little anger moment, I over exaggerate and I push instead of like I, I would rather be alone bro because I love peace you know what I mean so I, I pushed her away and I just decided to you know go to my yard but she calls back and you know, she tried to make me understand like there was no need for me to do any of that you know she you know she got a hotel you know I hear what you're saying it's just I'm, my mom who spoke to me and said come on Ovi I know you you don't cheat you don't go around sleeping around you watch before you know you, 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 you get like the girls I've gone with I get into a relationship with them you know what I mean I just don't I don't like spreading my you know, my energy out you know, I've learned to just you know keep myself to myself right 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 so right. my mom speaking on to me and then me linking up with her today and seeing all the stuff she did it just made me tell like nah, this girl like she really does care about me you know she, she doesn't mean the worst for me because if I was thinking over in my mind my, my ego to like push her away, push her away and just, you know, go and do what I want to like, focus on, focus on myself, focus on meditating, focus on getting this back, you know, so I can be able to change the day. Once they see this, they'll know like, they, she knows realistically I don't need her, do you know what I mean? And I'm not, I'm not depending on anything from her, and she's not depending on anything from me, do you know what I mean? That's what I like, I like to see, you know what I mean? And it's 2024, so I hear what you're saying about, you know, finding a, a woman it's just I've been with this girl and going through all this and I've, I've seen her soul is so pure compared to all the other girls her soul is just too remember what the brothers brought early Proverbs uh, 3 and 5 Proverbs yeah, yeah. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. Right. You're leaning onto your own understanding saying you trust your soul. But what did God say? Right. Trust the Lord. Trust the Lord. What did he say about these other nations? Right. I literally just read it. Not to be dealing with these other nations because you're, you're trespassing. You're, you're transgressing the laws of the Lord. Alright, so that's, that's, that's one genetics. 
Nah, and inheritance as well. Yeah. Right. When it comes to having a child as well, she wants she's gonna want to do Christmas. You're gonna say, nah, actually, we're Israelites, we need to keep the we need to keep uh, Passover. And all of the wealth that you've got, let's say you pass away, alright, and you get married, all of your wealth is gonna go to her and then she's gonna give it to you. Back to your community, your people. No, she's gonna give all of your wealth that you've earned, all the things that you're working for. Right. And uh, you working? No. Oh, when you do start working, that money you get because I just gotta have a double fracture on my leg this like, um, October. So I've been on like a wheelchair, um, crutches. Uh, so I've not been working, but I've got a job interview on Monday. My mom's pushing me when I know. Told my dad to just slap me a hundred quid, like slap it in trading, in trading so I can just you know I have something there to be doing to feel money, but. Bro, my card is like something doesn't want me to change because I know how the market is moving at the moment in the times of you know trouble, in the times of you know people's War. heads are left, yeah. and people's heads are right. You know what I mean? So I've told my dad, but then obviously I've gone out now. I'm, I'm, I'm you're gonna use that money, you know, to just to like, chill with these guys. Right. Oh, yeah, I hear you what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're just like overthink. I overthink and I do. I do too much. I do too much. I've got not I need to, I need to, I feel like I, do I need to call off everyone and just be by myself for a bit? Um, but you will, but you will, you will, you will, trust me bro. Yeah, get your, get a Tobit one first. Yeah, Tobit, got Tobit, yeah. Need them 10 commandments. Get Tobit, Tobit first and get that one. Don't let your right hand Tobit. left hand stood. Four. Four and verse 12. Four and verse 12. Go on. Tobit, chapter 4 and verse 12. Oh, we had a good chat then, man. And it reads. And it reads, beware, beware of all whoredom, my son, and chiefly take a wife of the seed of their fathers. Right, imagine you had a Nigerian wife, man. Right? A woman of your own people. Like, yeah. <laughs> that, bro, I know with having a Nigerian wife, the, the, the generation is much stronger and this the seed and then because if you understand she understands your culture as well you, you could yeah you she, she's gonna cook the food you want to eat what are you gonna eat later on I man see more, I pass what's your favorite food, food by the way me my favorite food bro i don't oh. even um, right now i'm in the stage i've just you know because of this girl i was in a three days fast bro i was ready to push it to a seven days fast do you know what i mean what do you bro, mean i'm trying to give up i'm trying to bro i wait i tell you i wake up <laughs> yeah, my girl got me eating fam i don't know drinking but. smoothie <laughs> Huh? I got to be putting on weight, bro. Yeah, I had to. You got the whole time. going fast in the You broke up, so I had to. I had to. You broke up with her. You know, not like I, I, I pushed her. I said I broke up. You know, yes, just yesterday. Are you off here? You broke up with her yesterday. Let's see, bro. bro. It's like something was yeah, like. Let's stop. Let's spend the time. Spirit of God, no praise. No praise. I was praising the Lord. I was praising Yahweh. Thank you for saying, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Good saying. How are you thinking? I was praising. You're good, bro. You're good, bro. I'm telling you, you're good, bro. Watch that. That's right, bro. Sunny box, bro. <laughs> no worries. It's good, bro. No good, bro. And then Bless my G. Thank good. you, thank you. Thank you good. Yo, good to meet you. Yo, Bless Bless you. Before we go, let's go. Look at these Christians. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. I know I am. Yeah? I know I am. Cough to the missus, though. Thank you, I will do. Please, I know you're already... You're the matter giving you the bloody power. <laughs> giving you that... <laughs> I've never heard that term. I've never heard that term. <laughs> See, your eyes have changed. I know, he, I know he used to be. Look, he definitely is. I know he used to be. You brothers are no definitely brothers. brothers. Milkman. No, bro. I want to my life. Milkman. Milkman. Let's square up and then let's start afterwards. Because these slurs are mine. You don't want to. Whatever you call me a coon, you don't want to. I'm making merch for these men as well, bro. God, God. I'm making their wealth and I'm going to spread it the right way. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. All right, all right. No clocks on them. All right. All right. Yeah, come on. Come on. He's telling you, dog. Yeah. Hey! I didn't expect you to edit out. I got a plan. We'll let you know, innit? I'll edit out. I'll edit out. Say nothing. Bless, bro. Love to you. Cool, bro. Hey, hey, on that, you know what I'm saying? Smash hey, on that. <laughs> nah, so, let's start getting techie now. I think, uh, time of, uh, clubbing that. Like, yeah. Can't, yeah, can't, yeah, yeah. can't, can't. So, yeah, man, like I was saying, it's really out of love when you love your yeah, own yeah. people. I do, I love my own people. I'm you saying. be with them, man. You know what I'm saying? You want, you want, you want your own women that's 
gonna feed you up, man. Fat right, your bones, right. man. Like it says in uh, Cyrax, we'll get it after us. I think it's to me. Uh, no, we'll get it after. We're at Cyrax. We'll get a Cyrax 25 on first. Oh, yeah, that's what I want. Okay, fine. Yeah, next. And uh, fat your bones in Cyrax 26. You know, that's three, I think. Me, so, I was ready to be alone, bro. I was ready, but it's my mom convincing me, saying she's a good woman. She loves so me. So I'm saying if you love your mom, it kind of gives a spirit on you to be like, not that you want someone literally like your mom, but you know, when you in your mum is it is like it's gonna make you think, yeah man, these are the attributes and the things that I want in my woman as well, man. Knowing what is like women can do. Knowing that my mum can cook and uh, be clean and look she after herself. What she what can she cook? What's her from? Woo! Portuguese, woo! Like what? Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into it. Oh, that's what I'm saying, man. You wanna, you're the righteous woman. You would want to be. Yeah, yeah, you will be. Too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not. Bro, every I'm not into every that brother wants. She wants to cook, but I'm not like I want to be. I want to find another source of nutrients than food. You know what I mean? When brothers get wives, they stop putting on the pounds, man. You know what I'm saying. I'm healthy as hell, bro. Like proper healthy, bro. Yeah, I hear it. I hear it. Let's uh, let's get that though. It's a book of uh, Syrac, chapter twenty-five and verse sixteen. I had dwell, I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. Ooh. All right. So you don't want to be with just Damn. any type of woman. It's better to be by yourself. Damn. It's better to be on your ones to than to be with a woman. Exactly. <laughs> That's the <laughs> magic. Lion eat you up. Exactly. So you don't have to rush into no marriage. You don't have to be with a woman. You're only, like you said, you're only 25. You gotta build yourself up first, man. Be found, have a foundation yourself first, rather than look for a woman that's gonna drain you. As soon as she knows worth in you, mm -hmm. as soon as you start working, fam. She's gonna tell you about all. You can say, oh no, she won't. Yeah, she's a good girl. Right. She's alright. Right. Right. As soon as you just start it's working. Only two weeks. I remember them days. Yeah, it's soon them now. And I know that's gonna rotate me getting 15 bags. <laughs> yeah, but you're, as soon as you get up, whether she says it or not, you're gonna feel. Let's get Ecclesiastes 7 verse 7. You're gonna feel uh, indebted. Yeah. So you're gonna feel like, oh, I have to give her something. Right. Because she was there for me and she did this and that. Right. Because it didn't allow the Lord. To I've, got do it for you. Pocket, I've got four bullies, bro. She's she got two bullies of me, bro. Do you know what I mean? And she pays four grand. Pay no say like, bro. Yeah, just just you know let her be. Mean? Just just let her buy your dogs, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? And just, and just, you know what I mean, just leave no, it like that. It's not about, it's not even about the money. It's just, I'm trying to just get you to see that. You, you know, don't have to be with her because she bought some dogs from me. Right. No, it's not that. I'm no trying same. to say, even when I was low, she's always been there. Doesn't that mean that? Yeah, but you know so. You know who's always been there? The mom. The most no, no. The mom, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's who's always been there. Don't give too too much credit to, to, to these. Inside, inside everyone. That's why you're still here. Right. Don't be here thinking that it's because of her or because right. of anyone. That's it's right. All time, man. Teach, yeah, man. Right. All glory, honor, and praises to the. To, huh. What's her name? Olivia. Yeah, man, no, you can't give all glory, honor, and praises to <laughs> Olivia, man. I don't give that, you just give uh, my girl. She's someone uh, I see a potential with in the uh, future. Uh, cool, cool. I'm going to give a few presets, I'm going to rest on that point, but at least I sold the seed. Right. Uh, let's read it, please, yes, seven or so. Out there in the, in the future, you know, I know there's ways for us to know. So our body, this uh, physical body we have stops deteriorating. I know there's ways for that, you know, we just have to find the ways, you know. AI is getting advanced, we two can be the same. We just have to find it, you know, I'm like, uh, on that route. Have you heard of Jonathan Nagin? No. You don't know who that is? No. Okay, don't worry. Uh, have you heard of, um... This, this guy here. That's Emmett. Johnny, Johnny Tilt. No, that's Emmett Till. Emmett Till, no? Yeah. You got close to a white woman as a kid. And then, yeah, that was the end of him. Mm -hmm. Let's read that. Exclusiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. Surely oppression make of a wise man mad. So, in our oppression, you know, it can affect us, man, deeply. We're being oppressed, we're on the bottom. You don't get all the opportunities that all these other nations get. It can make a wise man, a righteous man mad. Right. Go on. And a gift destroy of the heart. And a gift can destroy your mind. Because if you receive a gift, 
and people do things for you, especially in the times of oppression, it can it can destroy your mind. But that can come through people helping you out. It can actually destroy your mind because you feel indebted to that person, right. and it becomes like a bribe. Right. So someone can bribe you, and then you forget about what's right and what's wrong, or what you should be doing, right. and going right. according right. to the path that you had in the first place. Right. Let's get a Viticus 19 verse 27. Right. Let's go look at Sirach 26 verse 3. Just, he's basically just saying, rely on yourself and rely on God. Rely on the most high first, and then everything will come f come through. And then, yeah. Uh, this is the book of Sirach, chapter 26 and verse 3. A good wife is a good portion, which shall be given in the portion of them that fear the Lord. Right. One, one way. Oh, it's a short. Two, you want it? I want that as well, but also... On where it says oh, she'll, she'll, fatten, she'll fatten his bones. So a good wife is a good portion given to them that fear the Lord. Right. So don't think that if you don't have this woman, that you're never going to have a wife. I'm going to be lonely. There's never going to be a better woman out there for me. You know, she's the best woman I can ever get. That's low that's, that's thinking. Exactly. That's exactly. Low, that can right. Be me, right. 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 Never rely on a woman. Right. right. Like you said, you're healthy. Myself because they can never understand me. But this girl, that's why I feel like she understands me. A bit. Bro, I'll just be real and straight. Don't push her too much on my side. She, I wanted to just, you know, either uh -huh. she'll see me change. You know what I mean? For the better of it, she can change herself. No, but I don't. Any, what would you rate her looks wise out of 10? I don't rate on looks. Nah, like nah, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> I told you she used to be a bit. Exactly. What would you rate her out of 10? Out of 10? Looks wise. Just be real. Just be real. She's not here, man. <laughs> I rate her 10 out of 10, bro. <laughs> Come on. 10 out of 10. Man. Looks not all that, bro. So looks is not all well, we're talking about looks. You're saying that's looks on the I'm talking about looks though. Looks. Uh, okay. It's not as personal. 10 out of 10. What are you for looks? She, her looks yeah. are 10 out of 10. She, she so she's so she's over. the so she's the most beautiful girl in the world. To me right now, yeah, she's my girl, bro. Jake. <laughs> to me. Oh, 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 oh. Come on man, see what I'm gonna say. Oh, this is just going on. Right this is just going on. Whoa! This just happened. Oh. See like the scripture you read, feeling. pluck your eye out. Pluck your eye out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, if I leave it today, I meditate so and she'll be gone out of my heart, bro. Do you know what I mean? Sorry, sorry, say that again. If I, yeah. I, 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 like, I'm that type of person. Yeah. Very backside yeah. up in your ear. Do you know what I mean? I'll go for it. Yes. But if I know she doesn't want me, that is, yeah, that is nature, I would bro. go ah, and would. meditate. I yeah. find a way that all that, all that, yeah. you know, that, 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 would that feeling. So we're teaching this brother to stay away from this. I become someone and just think of moving on. Do you get what I mean? Moving on. Or what's, the, yeah. what's the next I've come? Because obviously you say, you, you, you're saying that the, water. the Lord is always That's watching it, yeah. you and is always right. you know, planning your next step, right? Yeah. And if he plans a step for you and you go the other way, he's thinking, okay, yes, let's make it more challenging for him in the next step. Do you get me? So that's how I see. I feel like, thank you. I'm always, I'm grateful. I can breathe. You know, I can, I can see. I have a hand. I have a legs. You know, I, uh, you know, I can question things. So I'm always grateful for that. And I don't, I don't, I don't ask for anything else. You know, it's just me doing, doing, like. Yeah. Let's read that one as well. This is the book of uh, Sirach, chapter 26 and verse 13. Right. The grace of a wife delighted her husband. Right. And so the, uh, a woman's grace would delight the husband. You know what grace is? So the, uh, your wife is moving gracefully. So for example, uh, her covering up her body is graceful. That woman wasn't doing that. Bro, I got a scarf, bro. Where's it at though? I didn't see it. Bro, I'm Why is she out, man? She just like. Herself. Yeah. Shout out, just dishing out her milk, than, man. My mother even told her to cover herself as well, bro. She said, nah, yo, we all be now, cover her up. Yeah. But why, why aren't she doing it, though? I don't, what? Why aren't she doing it, though? Right now, because we're going in the bus, yeah, and I just took the, I took the stuff out of us. Sounds like you're making excuses. Yeah, bro. like. Oh, bro. <laughs> you excuses for her, I just, and, and, and that's the thing. You see, if she if she was dressed modestly, you right now I know what's going in your body. It's a uh, you feel a little bit awkward. And read that read that first bit again. 
Uh, the grace of a, of a wife delights of her husband. So, see, and she knows that, like, I, right? But I she's, she's just going off. Wife, I'm still testing. So it says the grace of a wife is going to delight her husband. Just, so um, you feel delighted. You're going to feel happy. Like, oh, my wife is modest. Like, she's not out there. She's not making my mind think about mm. what type of things she's trying to do to, mm. to dress like that or what type of people that I'm going to have to encounter because she's dressed like that. You're going to be delighted that you didn't have to think that way. Right. When right. you feel calm, your mind's going to be at ease. Right, and right. And that's where your mind's not at because now you've got to justify where your wife's breasts are. <laughs> what are you doing? No, bro, she had two dresses. One of the other and dresses was a bit deep, like, it was, she had like a pants on and a top, but the pants didn't fit. So the other dress, I was like, you know, I just wear the other dress. It took us time, you know, to get, you know, the skirt on. We even had to staple it with a stapler. Do you know what I mean? So I'm saying, I and, and that didn't make you. You think you want to be doing that with your time, mm. stapling up your wife's no, dress? But it's, it's not. It's nah, not man, you don't want to be doing what? that with your day, it's man. Not that. It's just you're doing some push-ups or something. It just man. never bro. told you we broke bro. up. Do you know what I mean? Bro. That's even worse. Bro. You bro. broke up with her night stapling a dress. Bro. You broke up with her. Now she's got the what? Broke up. Okay. And now she's got a breast up. We broke up yesterday. We've been together almost a year, like a year now. Yeah. My mom told this woman she's 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 good. Do you know what I mean? She went in her home, she's, she works. You know what I mean? She works in a hotel, she does 12 hour shifts. You know, she also has epilepsy. Do you know what I mean? My mom told me this, she is good. She is really, really good for you, like, over. Okay. You're not ever going to see a woman like this. Yeah, that's not know? in the Bible, man. And then she. You have to go trust in the Lord, don't trust in your mother. Right. Trust in the Lord. Let's finish that. <laughs> it's Sirach 26 and verse 13. The grace of a wife delighted her husband, and her discretion will fatten his bones. Her discretion. You know what discretion means? To be discreet means you're not out there for everyone. Meaning she's not someone who's loud. She's not interrupting conversations. She's not showing off her assets. She's discreet. It's going to fatten your bones. It's going to make you strong. You're going to be a stronger man with a righteous wife because you're going to be with a woman that is going to make you feel, you know, empowered. Give you, you know, you're going to stand up straight. Like I have a woman that's doing things for me. I can, I don't have to worry about certain things because she's got everything patterned for me or, or, or patterned for the things that she needs to be doing that can help you. She's right. going to be helping you. Man. Right, right. Helping you stand up strong. Yeah, man. And how much more better than one of your own women who, again, knows your culture, knows your background, knows your history, looks like you, thinks like you, thinks like the Most High God. Mm -hmm. How much so her, man? Mm -hmm. He's greater, man. He could cook better, he right. can dance better, he right. can sing better, who looks better, Teacher. right? Who, who does everything better, man. Calm. Has better hair, smells better, right. looks after herself, dresses better. How much yes. so her, man? But right. that's the end of that point. I'll sow the seed on that. Come. Right? Most I willing, someone else can come and water that. Come. And the most I gives the increase on it. Well, praise to the most there. Let's get Leviticus 19 and 27. Come. Let me show you what you are doing, which is mighty. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27. 27. And it reads, Ye shall not round the corners of your head, neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Right. So another commandment is in order to be a man, you don't cut your hair off and be bald, and you don't uh, shave your beard off either. Right? You got a mighty beard there, man. Mighty beard. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> mighty beard. You, got, you got a very good beard there, man. Mm. Right? And, and, and that's why these women, they see you as a king, man. Right. Because you got that beard all shaped up, man. Right? Really interesting. You can, you, look, you can get. I know I said I'm going to yield on the point, but you can get women better than that. Man. Oh. Right. <laughs> Trust it, bro. You get one better than that. That's right. Brother, I'm telling you this. I was ready to cut off my girl, bro. But and why? Why is that, by the way? Why were you? Why did you break up with her? Oh, bro. I told you. I woke up in the morning. I was happy. I just. I was just so thankful that I'm able to breathe the air. So I was singing. So I wanted to do and do. So I went downstairs, you know, got all the wet clothes. Wanted, and, I mean, the dry clothes. Wanted to fold it. Do you know what I mean? And then obviously she got up. You know, she went down. Like I was done tidying up. Done about to, you know, done cleaning the dogs. I was about to go wash the dishes. You know, and literally I took some of the, you know, the the dry dishes. You know when you you pattern and you put in the cupboards and that. So I was about to do that, and then obviously she goes downstairs and she didn't like the way I tidied it up, and then obviously she goes. Uh, so she didn't like the way you. She didn't. She didn't like the way I tidied it up, and I'm like. Well, the fo the clothes or the dishes. The dish, no, the, you know when you put the dry dishes on on the 
in the cupboards. You know when you put it, you're, you're about to be wash it. You take the dry dishes and put it in the cupboard. And after you wash the dishes. Oh, in the dishwasher? <laughs> no, you wash the dishes. And, and you put it, it back in the cupboard. So I'm not, I, I'm never told okay, you. I get you, I get you. To have my environment clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I mean? Not Why? Because there is all that. Because like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, you're black, just, basically. Man. I'm waking up, Fish. you know what I mean? I'm, sure. I'm trying to get into more into nature. You know, yeah, you're organized. Yeah, yeah, organized. Come on. Get the money. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I was just trying the to wife do and the ordering that. of a house. I think it might know, be the next verse. Something inside it was like, so, let me just get him, you know, a bit angry or something. Get him, get him, get him in the mood. Yeah. She's yeah. like, she's like, um, uh, why don't you just tie up, tie up that? I'm like, right. come on, we, me, you just were, we just done the clothes together. We should just do that together now. I'm gonna wash the dishes, you know. But the thing is, when I wash the dishes, I don't ask her, why don't you come do this? I just do it. Do you know what I mean? But she's like, oh, why don't you just do? Why don't you just do it, you know, properly for once? And then I'm like, do you know what? I'm saying? I'm like, what did she mean by that? Why did she say do it properly? The dishes there, and I went upstairs. I went upstairs, and then she's like. Oh, since you, since you came here, my house is, you know, uh, it's not the way it used to be, it's all rough. But I'm thinking, I'm telling, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, yeah, I pour water on, on the toilet floor, but who destroyed the carpet? And then when I offered to, you know, fix the carpet, you told me, like, don't do it, leave it, nah, I shouldn't worry about it. But now you're going on like I destroyed it when I even helped up to, you know, fix things and to, you know, and then obviously I've gone to my own, I've gone to like chill upstairs. Get out, <laughs> no, no, it's just obviously my energy is too. No, no, it's my not. No, no. Too, and it puts even my mom, bro. I can be standing next to my mom. My mom be having negative vibes about me. She be like, "There's nothing wrong." She like, she seems I can be something better, but they're thinking I'm not. I'm not following the right path. I need to be more into uh, material stuff. I need to be more into driving. I need to be like my sister. Yeah, but you was on the right track. Like you, you know. There's a way, you know, your wife should be and something in your spirit, you know, was against her spirit because of the way, yeah, you know, you... I did not even want me to do nothing, bro. She just wanted me to chill. She even offered to give me uckles, bro. I said, no, I'm in the mood of praising the Lord. Why are you trying to give me the... You don't understand. You don't get me, bro. I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... I, I pushed her away, so I felt like she wanted to... So she... she I'm like a timing ticking bomb. I'm like a timing ticking bomb, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Once I'm angry, bro, I just I'm all over the place, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, boom, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, I could be switch, bro. Like, you forget me, like, I, I'm not trying to, like. Man you know, got mad. Once you get mad, you get yeah, mad. And I'm like, okay, say no more. I'm gone. Do you know what I mean? I won't, I won't hit up. Right, no, right, right. But I will wanna push everyone <laughs> away from me, bro. Hey, 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 when it arises up in the high heaven. Imagine, like, the sun when it arises up in the high heaven, like the sunrise. Do you like the sunrise? You like nature. How do you feel about the sunrise? I feel like it, I, I'm more powerful when that sun is right. I feel like it follows me everywhere, bro. I feel like when I'm in the sun, say if I fast for like three days, I get more nutrients. For some reason, I just feel more, I can, I can even extend my fast. I okay. can extend it. So let's see what God likens that to you. It says, so is the beauty of a good wife in the ordering of her house. In the what? In the ordering order of her house. So it's a beautiful thing for a wife to order a house. It's like, it's like the sun rising.